welcome here today for another of our kerfuffle testimonials. And what we're going to be doing here is finding out how, how one of the uh, one of the one of the truly loveliest people in, in the industry, Mr. James White of where we belong, is going to be talking to us around about Resi from Desres. First and foremost, though, James, let's, it's all about you. How are you? I'm really good, Simon. Always lovely to spend time with you. Um, Today, not with a beer in hand, but there we go. Um, no, it's great. Uh, it's, it, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. So you are in the middle <laughs> of, you know, you're at the end of dry January, but it's been such a success. You've saved 30,000 pounds. You would say, no, <laughs> you're going to continue. Might be 3,000. <laughs> all that, all that extra money for PropTech. Oh, it's just, it's just, it makes you feel good. So look, um, Let's just talk about yeah. Let's just talk about yourself for, for a minute here. Um, just uh, just give us a bit of context about yourself and the business so people understand uh, where you're coming from. Oh God, um, well, I've been around since the beginning of time. I think now with um, estate agency, I started in 1989 in a business with um, as an office junior, uh, and I think we had a hand cranked prim printer, Simon. Um, yeah, nice. <laughs> black and black and white dot matrix photographs, that sort of stuff. Um, no prop tech. Um, Telephones with cables, you know, it yeah. was all valves and wires and stuff. I like feel that. like we're going a bit too close to that old Monty Python sketch. Of course, we had it off. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. No, back in the day. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Um, but, you know, from a prop tech point of view, I've always, um, in a state agency, always wanted to be one of the first to do stuff. Yeah. So um, my estate agency background really... He's, he's all I've ever known and what we've always done uh, or I've always done in conjunction with business partners I've had in the past is um, being prepared to be a guinea pig. So we're really happy to be early adopters of any tech. Um, right back to things like um, mobile um, software for doing floor plans and stuff. I won't name any names, but we were one of the first to do floor. We no, we can do that. Mobile agent, wasn't no, it? No, we can't do that. Mobile agent. Do you remember that? <laughs> the little stylus. The the DMA stylus. with the stylus, yeah. And everybody's got wobbly head syndrome because we were like this. With them. <laughs> well, that, was, that, was, that was cutting edge tech, mate. That was, that was really pretty cool. Was, yeah, very analogue by today. But what um, I like so about yeah, it, you, you, you do genuinely, you talk about actually, uh, you know, obviously you're fine and you're a keen adopter of tech, but you also take what I would take a quite serious view of it, don't you? You know, I, I've heard you talk to Chris before, Mr. Watkins, obviously, talk about, you know, avoiding the shiny baubles that are out there. And you see many estate agents, as of course, you know, we ourselves do, who can get quite easily seduced by that side of things. So for you, prop tech is all about being a tool. Would that be fair to say? As long as it's clearly going to demonstrate a, um, a benefit to you then it gets to you at least on your radar yeah for me in many respects a lot of prop tech solutions i come at it from the the time saving element yeah. i think one of the most expensive things we have is staff time um, agencies are all about staff and advertising that's your biggest cost base really uh, i know we talk about high street now versus online but it's still staff and advertising so if you can save staff time you're yeah. actually saving money um, because you save in hourly rates, simple as that, really. So as long um, as you can turn them towards that classic, most dollar productive activity, saving them, doing the you know the admin, the menial, and everything else. That's that's a pretty good use of investment, then, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And and like I always said to a lot of my um, suppliers, if you're going to ask me to do one thing uh, that takes more time than I'm used to using or or taking up, then I want you to demonstrate to me how I can save time doing something else. Um, so don't just layer stuff on. Yeah. If you're going to give me a new activity, I want something to be taken off me. Um, because actually, oh. as, the more time you add to the process of selling houses, the more staff you're adding and the very more cost. True. Yeah, very true. So what attracted you first? How long have you been with Desres and what attracted you to them in the first place? Okay, so we started Belong. Um, I know everybody calls it Where We Belong because that's the name of the website, but actually the, the business is called Belong. And uh, we started this five years ago, about this week, really. So we were in its birthday period for us. Um, and I was recommended to them by the, the guys at the property job, Mike Smithson. Yep. Mike understood that I always wanted something that was cutting edge. And at the time, Resi was in its infancy. Yep. And I saw that as an opportunity to go back to what we said earlier about being a, not a trailblazer, but an early adopter. Yeah. Um, because I think if you're getting early, you can not necessarily influence, but at least you can have some input in what these guys are doing. Um, yeah. And also that enables you to build a relationship with them from the start. So um, 
some great advice. That like. there. I mean, yeah, that's that is really some very good advice there. The earlier you can often get in with the supply, you do have the ability to to be part of the process of development as long as the company has a forward thinking attitude there. And you know, and the other thing is, if it's the right sort of product as well, it gives you a competitive edge as well if it delivers, doesn't it? Oh, for sure. And right from the off, the thing that we liked most about Resi was it was cloud based. Yeah. So from day one, we could use it on the road. Um, and of course, everybody had laptops and tablets back then, yeah. um, but they weren't using them for agency as much as they can do nowadays. No. Um, so we could leave a viewing, for example, and immediately email the, the, the client the feedback through the system. So not only are you log into any CRM, but the clients get an immediate update. Um, that in itself saves time because one of the biggest um, consumers of time for estate agencies chasing viewing feedback, for example. Absolutely. Yeah. So you show somebody around a house, Mr. Whale doesn't like it, the house smelled of dog, put it on the feedback, send the email on to the next one. And you've saved yourself three days chasing Mr. Whale, who doesn't really want to tell you that he thought it smelled of dog. Um, yeah. But similarly, if you get an offer immediately, you can start the negotiation straight away too. And so, time, um, I mean, time, time kills deals in any industry, doesn't it, as well? So mm -hmm. being able to be efficient. I mean, I hate the phrase, it's often used, that, you know, being a mobile warrior. But, you know, all you have to think about is when there's so much time spent in the car and travelling around and everything else, it absolutely, you know, you have to have that kind of functionality these days, don't you, to, to, do, you do. to, to be doing your best in the job, really. And to just give you an example on that, really, um, 30 years ago, I used to do appointments at 45 minute intervals. Mm. Now I'm an hour and a half and it's an hour and a half because of the traffic. Yeah. So again, you're losing lots more time out on the road because of the road, which costs yeah. you more money because you need to employ more people to cover the same amount of appointments. So every five or 10 minutes you can save your staff is brilliant. And Resi has yeah. always helped us to do that. And and, and that's, so that's what I saw in it right from the beginning was, it was an early, early adopter of cloud-based technology for estate agents. It's certainly from the CRM perspective. Um, and it's been great ever since, really. Love it. Oh, that's good to hear. And, and, and um, a lot of the time, it can be quite difficult having, um, you know, uh, just expecting things to work out of the box. I think like all of us, whether it's a telephone or prop tech or whatever else there, how, but clearly you've got to get, get used to, especially with something as complex of, as, as a CRM system there. So how did they manage to handhold you? What was the onboarding like, I suppose, is the question. Uh, well, it was, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, they came to branch, gave yeah. us all in branch training. Um, we could have gone to them. Uh, they could have done it remotely, but actually they came to see us, um, trained all the staff. Um, and it's such an easy, intuitive system that it really doesn't take very long to move from what you've always known to Resi. Um, Resi, it, it looks nice, it feels nice, um, and it's intuitive in so, in so much as the journey through the CRM is, is an obvious one. There's nothing hidden, everything's easy to, easy to identify where you need to go next. Um, and that's what your staff want, because the last thing you want to do as a, as a business only, owner is put some um, software in that then your staff rebel against it, yeah. um, because actually just making the problem for yourself. And I, I've always found over the years that people don't like change, especially with new tech in agency. And one of the things that we've done in past lives is not cut the old systems off quickly enough. So, so they keep, with this, you've got to be brave. It. Yeah, you've got to be brave, cut it off, and actually... Resi is so easy to, to get used to that that process can be quicker as well. So you're not carrying two CRMs. Yeah, so um, put the umbilical cord, don't allow them to go back, you know, yeah. the rest of it. That's a really good bit of advice. Yeah. That. That's really Get good. on with it, really. Uh, and, uh, you know, absolutely um, no doubt at all it was the best move we made at the time. So and as really, you said there, what's interesting is because sometimes there can be a difference in of opinion between the business owner and their staff, but your staff have taken to this as well like a, a Dr. Water. Oh yeah, it's just intuitive, it's lovely. And, it, and I think because it, it's aesthetically pleasing as well, it's a nice platform to be on. Uh, yeah. a, lot, a lot of um, agency CRMs are almost DOS based and in, in their appearance, yeah. um, but this is pretty. And, uh, and that actually makes the desktop quite a nice environment to be as well. If you, if, you, if you go in to be sat, as you, many people, I don't know if this is a depressing fact or not with CRM, but it's normally the first thing you turn off and the last thing you log out on, you might as well have yeah. something, uh, something, something attractive and, and, and useful to be working with. And we can't all have a, a background like yours there, Simon, or 
<laughs> or a pretty face like yours to look at. So, uh, you oh, know, yeah, nice yeah. British PR. Really Stop good. turning this in about me. You know, I, I, I've told you, <laughs> I've got to get you out to that market appraisal you told me on time. Stop this <laughs> me. Right, but it, it, it's a million pound house I'm going to see. So, yeah, it's quite an expensive okay, thing. I'm, 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 not having you, I'm not having you blaming me for that. That doesn't, that doesn't do much <laughs> print print any, any more good. But I, I tell you what, let me just think about this as you just highlighted my rather jaded career. Um, and I was always quite a lazy salesperson. If you were to set, having to sell this to other agents, how would you set, sell Resi? What do you think the key strengths are? All right, okay. So let's start with, not with the system, but with the people. The guys at Resi, at Desres, are so easy to work with. They're affable, they know the stuff, they talk in plain language. Yeah. There's, there's none of this tech speak. I'm sure you've got a second language somewhere, Simon, that you, you know, you're going to gather around in dark corners and talking ones and nots. But these guys speak in plain English and that makes life so much easier for those that don't understand all of the ones and nots. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a big thing. Um, it's easy to join. Uh, it's, I would say it's very, very good value for money for what you get. You know, it's a full CRM system. It's yeah. not expensive. Um, and, you know, but it, for me, it all started with the, with 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 the people. Um, it's, it's, Richard it's, it's, Rice, Richard yeah. Milner, dead easy to deal with. He's a, he's a fantastic leader of people down there. I was down there at their offices the other day and you can see that often it comes from the top, doesn't it? And you can see how the people are. They're all keen to help and, and everything else. There's some companies that can kind of close in on themselves a bit by being too technical. You've got none of that with those guys at all. Yeah, I also think that... You you know, Resi, um, by their own admission, probably deal with uh, one to ten branch estate agents. So they don't deal with, um, God, how can I put this, um, a lot of the bully boy companies. I think the bigger companies get the more they try to bull bully the suppliers. And that can change the behaviour of the suppliers as well. Yeah. Um, so you can maintain an intimate relationship with these guys, not in the same way as you can with Kafuffle, obviously. That's, that's no, that's what I was going to say. So let's hope those but don't ever change you, bully boys, because that's what we're here to do. <laughs> we don't want too many of those in our lives. We haven't got room for too many Simon Wales. But anyway, <laughs> the, the, but the guys down there, they maintain a personal attitude to customer service. So from, from the starting the starting blocks, they are absolutely brilliant to deal with. When it comes to um, getting resi into your branches, it's just the same as downloading an app, you know, dead easy. Um, and then you're off, so long as you've had your onboarding and your training, um, you'll, you'll find that the staff find the way around the system very quickly. And, you know, with the, 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 the only the, the mo most modest amount of in interference thereafter. But if you do need some support from, from Resi and Desres, they're always on the end of the phone. Or and the after support, which yeah. is of course just as important, that's there for you just as much as as, uh, as the other way around when you were going live. Yeah, and, and going forward as a, you know, as a business owner, um, to have seen it evolve, it's got an open API, which has allowed it to bolt on other suppliers really easily. Um, so they're very good at solving problems. They're always talking to the clients about what's your next problem, how can we solve it? And the open API aspect of all of that allows them now, to... I mean, I know they've had it for a while, but over the last two years, that's really started to step up, isn't it? I, I don't think oh, there's... Yeah. A, there's not doesn't seem to be a week go by that I'm not on a call with Richard or something about some new uh, tie-up with technology they're doing. And that's not... That's just not... You can sit, hopefully, that means you can virtually sit back and relax and know those guys have got, the, got your back, as it were. And actually, you can go to them with a solution that you need or a problem, and they'll they'll find a, either a supplier who's prepared to build the solution or they'll work with you to find a solution. Um, so that you know they're very approachable in that regard as well. Yeah. But I, I think by the time they've finished with this, and whether they ever finish, because it's you know it's always a journey, um, you'll be able to run your entire estate as a business through the CRM. Um, so there won't be any need to you know log on to a board suppliers. Uh, or an EPC, we don't have to with EPCs or AML, that sort of stuff now, but absolutely, absolutely every interaction, I think one day you'll have them all in one place. And that's an interesting point just there, and because some people would be very fearful uh, of having all their eggs in one basket, but you, I suppose what you're seemingly saying there is, as long as it's the right basket and the right company, you'd be more than happy to have that kind of hmm. uh, efficiency gain, yeah? Yeah, and I, I, I don't know how this necessarily would work, but I'm sure that it, it comes down to the limitations of the supplier. I'm sure we could bring some of our suppliers to Resi and say, can you work with these people? Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the, you know the supplier's still got to have the capability to do it, but yeah. um, they're the kind of company or Resi that, or Desres that uh, will be open to that kind of conversation for sure.
Cool. Well, make sure you drive them for, for via kerfuffle first, because that's the uh, obviously that's the way we play this. Um, if I was to ask you then, just because get, get, uh, I am promising, I am getting you out the door. You are winning that uh, that million pound instruction. Um, <laughs> I've already got it. I'm going to do the pictures. Oh, <laughs> oh God. just tell them you'll be an hour. That you've got them now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice house and the sun's out. I don't want to miss the sunshine, you see. Oh, I, I suppose up north we don't have that luxury, do we? Not after that storm last night. So your final thoughts on Resi, though. You mentioned there like, the time-saving element, the people are important. Anything else about your overall experience with them um, in terms of in terms of how you feel? Yeah, it's just a big thumbs up from us, really. We're, we're sort of super fans, really. Um, and, you know, it, as I say, it always starts with the people. Yeah. The technology backs it up. It's robust, Simon. That's important. We don't. It doesn't fall over. Well, that's, that's really, really to hear, important. Isn't it? That's really important to hear because you know when these systems, as I say, they are the backbone of your business. You can't have them going up and down, can you? So no, definitely not. Definitely not. And so there's not there's none of that nonsense. Um, it's constantly evolving, it, it, and it's very good value for money. So yeah, um, it, it's just what we want. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start sobbing up here. Uh, so, so the, you had me. The more, I, the, the, the more of this I do, the bigger the hamper at Christmas will be. You do know. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Just say that. You had, <laughs> you, had, you had me as super fans. Was how I was gonna leave it. <laughs> okay, the thumbs up is good, and I like the Caesar style approach. That, but look, just so that we can give them a full proper review on the site. If you had to rate them out of five stars on the belief that it's not going to be to a local competitor, your, your missus, for example, how would you rate them at, at five uh, out of five stars? Five being the best, of course. Of all of the, well, five, of all of the CRM suppliers I've ever spoken to, uh, these guys are by far the best. So a five out of five for me. Perfect. That's lovely to hear from you. And it's obviously, James, as ever, an absolute nice pleasure, to pleasure to have you on. I look forward to, to it again. You go, you take the best possible photos you could possibly do. Thanks, Simon. Have a good Thanks, afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.